Hello all. Welcome back to the BioRox channel. Today we'll be learning about the human sperm structure. Okay. So the thing that you're seeing on your screen is going to be a sperm cell. <coughs> and uh, this human sperm cell is going to be a haploid. Okay. It is going to be haploid containing a haploid nuclei. Okay. Having only 23 number of chromosomes. And uh, it's going to be a motile male gamete, okay? And it comprises, it's actually a microscopic structure, microscopic structure. And uh, these sperms have been produced by a process called as spermatogenesis that I have introduced you in one of the videos that I have made. And if you look at the body of the sperm, it's been divided into a head, okay? And uh, it's been divided into a small neck and a middle piece and a tail, a tail. So it's been divided into head, neck, middle piece and a tail. And if you're going to look at the head children, so if we are going to look at the head here, we have a cell plasma membrane. It has this structure called as acrosome. Okay, this is a, the pink one that you're seeing here is going to be acrosome, which has developed from a Golgi bodies of the spermatids having the nucleus, okay? As well as we can see that the acrosome is going to contain an enzyme, okay? It's going to contain an enzyme. Let me write this for you all. And this enzyme is going to be uh, one which is being called as a high aluronidase, okay? Let me write this for you all. It's being called as high aluronidase enzyme. This is being uh, present in the acrosome, okay? This is a one which is going to actually help in the penetration of uh, the sperm into the egg during fertilization process. So this is going to help in penetration of sperm into the egg during the fertilization process. So that is the acrosome. And uh, the next one is the one that you can see here is it has even nucleus. As I told you, it's going to be the one which is going to be the haploid nucleus. And next coming on to we have is the neck, which consists of two centrioles. Okay, here we can see one of the centriole here. It has a two centrioles actually, one is a proximal and the distal. If you are going to look at the proximal centriole, so this will be important for me to just mention this on a whiteboard because this is important for your examination point of view, children. So let me uh, give it to you in a point wise such that you can make a notes out of this. So we have seen the head and the head was comprising of a structure that developed from the Golgi bodies called as acrosome. We saw that acrosome has an enzyme which has been called as high aluronidase, which is going to help in penetration of sperm into the egg during fertilization process. And uh, it does have the nucleus, which is haploid in nature. Next, we are having the neck. And in the neck, children, it is going to actually have two centrioles. Two centrioles. One is going to be a proximal centriole and the other is going to be a distal centriole. This proximal centriole, what it does is, this plays a very important role in first cleavage of the zygote. First cleavage of the zygote. Okay. And if you look at the distal centriole, this is going to form the axial filaments. This is going to form the axial filament that is present that is present in the tail of your sperm. Okay. These are those two centrioles that you can see in the neck region. Next we have is middle piece or a mid piece. Okay. So this is a middle piece. Next we have so children, if you look at the middle piece, you can see many, many spirally coiled mitochondria. 
spirally coiled mitochondria. And where are they being coiling? They are coiling around, around the axial filament that is dropping from, that is your distal tube, okay? I told you that aapke distal uh, centrioles are actually uh, forming, right? They are forming the axial filament. So that runs into here. So you can see that the mitochondria is coiling around this axial filament in the middle piece, okay? And uh, these spirally coiled mitochondria on an axial filament are being called as your nebenkern. Nebenkern, we are going to call them as. Okay, children, this is important. And these mitochondria here are going to help in providing energy for the movement of sperms. For the movement of sperms. This is what is important for us. Next we have is a tail. Okay, this is very long, slender tail which comes up. It is made up of cytoplasm. So it has cytoplasm. And as I told you that axial filaments are present in the tail here. And uh, these axial filaments which have been present, okay, the axial filaments which are present here in the tail are made up of 11 proteinaceous microtubules. Proteinaceous microtubules. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are actually arranged in a nine plus two manner. In a nine plus two manner. Okay, children, this is important. So these are the parts and what are the things present in those parts, okay? These becomes important for you to remember for the examination. Now, let me show you the same thing into uh, showing, sharing you uh, slides here, okay? So what I'll do is I'll share my screen with you all. I'll show you a few of the slides, which will be helping you in understanding them. Okay, so give me a moment for that. Yeah. So the first thing that we are going to see here is going to be the middle piece mitochondria nebenkern. So this is your nebenkern children. So you can see that these are the axial filaments and above the axial filaments, the mitochondria is spirally coiled, spirally coiled, okay? This is being called as nebenkern, okay? What is that called as? It's been called as your nebenkern. Let me write this for you. So it becomes easy for you while you revise. So this is being called as nebenkern, okay? And the next thing that I would like to show you is the tail axial filaments from where you can ex accept these questions from, expect these questions from your examination where you can see the tail piece having the, what we call as uh, these uh, nine plus two arrangement is going to be in this manner, the microtubules. The microtubular arrangement in the tail piece is going to be as such. The nine rings peripheral and here the two of them. So it's going to be nine plus two arrangement in the flagella or the tail, what we call as of your sperm. So this is what is your tail piece where you can see the axial filament running. You can see cytoplasm present here, but not elsewhere, very, very thin, only the plasma membrane covering up, but you can see the thin cytoplasm around the tail piece here. So this is what is about the sperm cell of the humans. Okay, children, I hope you all have understood the structure and the important points that are required for your neat examination. So if you like this video, please do hit the like button, try to share my channel and subscribe. Thank you all. Thank you.